Camille, this is a big loss for a local sports community here. Yeah, it really is. The police trying to figure out exactly what led up to this crash. Meanwhile, Kronk Jim says they have been getting messages from people all over the country and all over the world expressing their condolences. This was a great guy, you know. So I'm saying for it, but another brother has went to the heaven. The boxing community at Kronk Jim in Westland mourning the loss of a true great. Jacob Bonas. He was killed early Friday morning in a head-on crash on the lodge near Trumbull in Detroit. Police say he was driving his Ford Fusion the wrong way when he slammed into a GMC Sierra. The driver of that pickup truck suffered minor injuries. Jacob Bonas was pronounced dead on the scene. Latanya Wingate trained with Jacob at the original Kronk Gym in Detroit. And we just became family. And man, when I say talented, amazing it was just like so natural natural talent natural talent he was so good great guys him and his brother a set of twins and uh he uh he loved boxing i can tell you that much and um you know no matter what happened in life he always came back to the ring a matter of fact i can tell you this he was down here um maybe nine months ago Nine months ago, he came to check the gym out to see what it was like and everything and said he'll be back. He was a great fighter, not scared of anybody. Um, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. Yeah, we, we lost somebody that was awesome. And uh, we can tell you that there were just a lot of long faces at Kronk when we went there tonight. In Actually, too, um, Erskine, who you saw, the head trainer, said that when he saw this on the news, he saw that car, and he didn't recognize the car, but he said he got this weird, eerie feeling, and he thought to himself, I wonder if I know the person who was involved in that crash. Um, he said it was a fleeting thought, and then he got to work and found out that it was indeed someone that he knew. A uh, very sad for the Kronk community, the gym community, the Kronk gym community and boxing community. This man was very well loved. Reporting live, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Camille, you know, sports really can bring any community together, but you just get the sense how devastated these folks are who uh, knew this legend and uh, you really feel for them tonight. Yeah, and you know, this is, a, you know, anybody who knows, who has spent any time with boxers, I mean, this is a community, this is a brotherhood, this is a sisterhood. It doesn't matter if they knew each other 10 years ago or 20 years ago or two years ago or someone boxed briefly and, and never got back into it. Uh, this is a bond. This is a bond that they have together. And seeing all the pictures on the wall at the Conk Gym, um, such a storied history, uh, this is a, a loss. They, they definitely are feeling this tonight.